Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your pick a card reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Is It Really Over? So is this relationship really over? Maybe you just had a dramatic ending to your relationship and you think, oh, this has got to be it. They're never going to talk to me or see me ever again. I don't know what's going to happen. And then, but there's still that little part of you wonder, are they going to come back? You know, do they want to get, are they going to want to get back together? Is this just temporary or is this permanent? So that's what we're going to try to attempt to answer here. So this is going to be stone number one with the selenite, stone number two with the rose quartz, stone number three with the amethyst, and stone number four with the obsidian. So you can take a moment and pause the video and get out your pendulum preferably. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get started and let's find out if it's over. All right, so I have the cards for stone number one with a selenite and let's find out if your relationship's really over. So we have the five of cups, we have the nine of swords, we have judgment, we have the four of wands, we have the fool, and we have the King of Wands. And the signs that could be associated with this reading, it doesn't have to be, I'm just going to say them, is the Fool. Um, judgment is Scorpio. And the King of Wands is, where are you? Cancer Leo. Alrighty. So, is your relationship really over? Obviously, something has happened here. I feel like there is a loss to something that's very happy. You might feel like there's a loss to something that maybe it could have been very happy. Someone's worried about taking a leap of faith. But there is definitely a calling. There is a calling. But let's clarify these cards to make certain. Let's clarify the Five of Cups, please. Clarify the Five of Cups. Please clarify the Five of Cups. We have the Empress. Hmm. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress. Hmm. Looks like they might have had options to be with somebody else. Maybe you did. They did. Hmm. It feels like somebody, there could be a little bit of cheating or maybe that somebody, maybe you or they made a choice to be with somebody else or do something else, not be with them. Or you not, you not with them or them not with you. Clarify the four of wands, please. Clarify the four of wands. Clarify the four of wands, please. Clarify the four of wands. We have the eight of pentacles. And we have the Five of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be a person that you worked with. This could be a person that you worked with, but either way, it feels like someone may have wanted to or put a lot of effort into this relationship in order to make it happen. And it's very hard to get over this with the Five of Pentacles there. But again, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse indicates a possible upturn. Let's clarify the nine of swords, please. Clarify the nine of swords. Let's clarify the nine of swords, please. Clarify the nine of swords. So we have the three of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles, please. Clarify the three of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles. Again, this could be someone that you're working with. Also, it could have been, uh, it, it, it does seem to be some kind of third party situation. Doesn't mean that anybody's cheated or anything. It just could be that somebody else, they had to choose between two people. I think I want to clarify the judgment, honestly. Clarify judgment, please. Clarify the judgment card. Please clarify the judgment. So we have the Nine of Wands. Someone's girded. This also situation is meant to, in to gain experience and wisdom. Clarify the Nine of Wands, please. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Clarify judgment. Clarify judgment. Clarify judgment. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. 
her knowing of the king of swords reverse upright and the upright. like this person has an issue with their their self-worth and their how much money they have they, they have this person is a logical thinker what are they trying to think logically about the situation and they're not thinking with their heart and they're thinking with their head we have the knight of swords clarify the king of wands please clarify the king of wands emotional Nine of Cups. Very fun nine of Cups. Wishes come true. Feeling very happy. Queen of Wands and the reverse. Mm -mm. So. Will these two people end up back together again? Will these two people end up back together? Please tell me, will these two people end up back together? We have the moon in the upright. Basically, it's saying it's unclear. All right. So, is it over? No, it's not totally over. There is a chance for things to happen. There, it looks like there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of worrying and everything. There could be another person involved here that may have to be moved out of the way for this to happen. Something has to happen between them and another person for them to wake up. Clarify the fool, please. Clarify the fool. Oop, there it goes right here. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe the person is an Aquarius that they're interested in. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Reverse or upright. Wait, reverse or upright? It is in the reverse. Okay. You cannot reverse it first. Hmm. You're going to have to give up. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. We have the lovers. <clears throat> Clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers. Yeah, they're going to have to give up the relationship that they're currently in. The tower. It looks like that. It looks like the person that they did choose, <clears throat> if it was you or them, whoever, <clears throat> say you chose somebody else, it looks like the relationship that you chose to be with will end. Okay. Um, if that's you, if it's them who picks someone else, then that relationship will end. So take it however it resonates. So we have the moon. It is saying, so Pisces could be involved here, but um, it feels like this is being divinely guided, okay? It feels like this is being divinely guided, and hmm, this one's tricky, guys. Oh my gosh, you guys need a private room. Anyways, <laughs> um, it's like what it's telling me is that someone picked to be with another person. They had they had either two people. It could be five people they had to pick from. Okay, but then you know how when you go to your dating, sometimes people when they have a lot of options, they'll have like a top two or three or something like that that they like prefer the most over other people. And and it's like I feel like like it could have been like maybe this person came along first and kind of was like working on the situation with them before you. And what it feels like is that this person Something's going to override in, in this relationship that they're currently in or you're currently in. And you might end up um, with this other person. Okay? Or they might decide to. It is saying, you know, the moon, that it's not completely clear. Okay? It's not completely clear. It's really up in the air right now. Um, it, it's going to depend on a lot of factors. This is the tarot. Okay? The tarot 
says that this path, the path, is not 100%. So is it over 100%? No, it's not over 100%. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it, and it really helps me out, and it lets me know that you want to see these kind of videos again. If you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number two. All right, so I have the cards for stone number two with the rose quartz, and let's find out if it's really over between you and your person. So this is amazing. <laughs> so we have <clears throat> the lovers. <clears throat> we have the fool. We have the moon. We have the world. We have the nine of swords. And we have the sun. Hmm. All right. So the signs that could be associated with this reading is Gemini, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and the sun. Hmm. This is really getting my attention here, this fool. It could be an Aquarius, it could be another person, but this person is really worried about a situation. I kinda wanna figure out what that is, so let's clarify the Nine of Swords, please. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Please clarify the Nine of Swords. Please clarify the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. So this person's worried about the person that they're with being emotionally or being independent from them. I don't know who it is. If it's you, let's clarify the Fool. Clarify the Fool, please. Clarify the Fool. Clarify the Fool, please. Ten of Swords. Oh, it looks like this person has done something possibly. This person, I feel like this person has done something possibly to cause this worry. Okay. Look, they're worried about this relationship being over. Because of something we've done. Clarify the Ten of Swords, please. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords, please. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. So they're kind of pausing and assessing and trying to figure out if they're on the right path. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. 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 Please. What's spun? Reverse or upright? Reverse. There is trouble. Uh, also, all these pentacles can indicate someone that you work with. It doesn't have to, but maybe you work with them or you work in the same way as them. Ah, geez. Let's clarify the sun, please. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun, please. The three of pentacles. It's very clear that this per other person, it doesn't feel like this person, um, this person, it could be a Pisces or something, or a Leo, but they're feeling very clear. They're very confident. They're very clear that they want to collaborate with somebody, possibly. Or work with someone else or come together possibly with another person. Clarify the three of pentacles, please. Clarify the three of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles, please. Yeah, this makes this there this is like a wish come true from them, like an emotional fulfillment of some sort. And we have the King of Swords, so it logically like King of Swords is someone who's like logically thinking about something and they're like this makes sense. A person who is intelligent, you know. I feel like they're trying to keep their emotions out of this decision when it comes to... They're trying to think logically, not just let their emotions guide them, but also their head. Clarify the King of Swords, please. Clarify the King of Swords. Oh no, clarify the Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups, please. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands. So I'm really strongly feeling that this person wants to, they feel very passionately about doing something with another person. It doesn't mean necessarily that they're, it's romantic. But I 
because I don't see that yet. I mean, I see it something making them happy and everything. Let's clarify the moon. Clarify the moon, please. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon, please. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. All right. So the Ace of Pentacles. This person wants a new start. Could be financial. Could be material. Reverse your upright. Right. But they're, but they're like they're thinking about it. What they they're thinking about this new beginning they want, and it's it's mentally exhausting for them. It's like they're kind of over. Oh, what's the word? Why can't I think of the freaking word tonight of this of that that I'm thinking about? Mm, they have like a mental overload. Clarify the Four of Swords, please. They're like tired mentally. Clarify the Four of Swords, please. Clarify the Four of Swords. And then we have the Emperor. But it looks like they're having the lead in this situation. Let's clarify the Lovers, please. Clarify the Lovers. Clarify the Lovers. Five of Swords in the reverse. All right, so that can indicate that's a that can indicate like making up an apology of some sort. Um, so the person that they could be apologizing could be an Aquarius, not an Aquarius. It could be uh, it's about getting an apology or giving one. It could be a Gemini or a Capricorn or something else. It could be this could just be the energy we're talking about it. So let's try to see if we can find out. Clarify the Five of Swords, please. See if it says anything else. Clarify the Five of Swords, please. Clarify the Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords. So we have the Page of Pentacles. So it feels like a physical message that is going to be given. Oh, some kind of apology. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Towards a person, the person could be a cancer. This is the it feels like this person. I don't know who you are. You could be any one of these people in this reading. So this feels like three people. Okay, I have indication there is a third party in this situation. And so this person right here, it could be you, it could be them. Someone is worried about. I don't feel like their relationship is completely over. So this person is worried about the other person breaking up. This feels like the other person. Okay. Um, the, as far as signs go, they could be an Aries. They could be a, a Cancer. Not Cancer, my bad. They could be an Aries, a Pisces. This one's... Knight of Wands, a Scorpio, Sagittarius, or a Leo. They could be any of those people. Um, and this person could be an Aquarius that I see so far. They also could be some kind of Earth sign. <clears throat> and then this person that they want to apologize either they want to either apologize apology from or they received apology from. <clears throat> It could be any variation, but there was apology that was going on between this person and this person, okay? And the person could be a Cancer, they could be a Gemini or a Capricorn or any Earth sign. Clarify the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess. Also, this could be a secretive thing that is going on. We have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Like, this person may not know about this apology. But it feels like they might intuitively, they might, who knows, they might intuitively, I'm speculating at this point for this one, but they could intuitively know about the situation or be feeling that something. <clears throat> and the person who's apologizing feels pretty defenseless and... They don't have very much hope for the situation themselves. Let's clarify the world, please. Clarify the world. Clarify the world. Please clarify the world. So, <clears throat> I 
However, there is a new beginning being indicated between, it feels like this person and someone. It, it's going to be whoever and somebody else. Okay. This person is not able to give up the past or let go of the past. Clip, clarify the Six of Cups, please. Clarify the Six of Cups. And we have the Three of Wands. And <clears throat> actions have been taken to kind of like events have been set into action. Like something is happening between these two people, it feels like. Again, we have the number three again, third party. Clarify the three of wands, please. Clarify the three of wands. Clarify the three of wands, please. Yep, we have strength. Hmm. Clarify strength, please. Clarify strength. Also, Leo could be involved. And we have the three of swords. <clears throat> there could be four freaking people in this one. It seems like though so far they've held back because um, though because they are they're afraid of they like they're not afraid they don't want to they're afraid they don't want to take a loss you know they don't want to lose something there's something they don't want to lose <clears throat> or there's something that they have lost this is very dramatic clarify the nine of wands please clarify the nine of wands so all right what do we got we got the world and we have justice so it, it looks like things are going to be balancing the scales are going to be it could be a libra you're dealing with as well but it could be um it's definitely time to balance the scales and to have a new beginning so uh, is it really over i don't see anything being over right now <laughs> this is a freaking drama right here as the world turns, apparently, because we have the world here, world here, world here. As the world turns, we could name this whole freaking thing that. So anyways, have fun with that. If you want to have a private reading, you see how to do that in the video description below. Anyways, if you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. And if you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number three. All right, so I have the cards for stone number three with the amethyst, and let's find out if it's really over. So we have justice, we have the queen of pentacles, we have judgment, we have the tower, we have the two of cups, and the page of swords. Whew, it's hard to tell if it's really over. I'm not feeling it's very over, but gosh, man. So the sign that could be associated with this is going to be Libra. Scorpio, any, any air sign. Aries. And the Queen of Pentacles, which is Sagittarius Capricorn. Uh, definitely see something happen. Balance the scales. It looks like the the scales had to be balanced, and it caused a tower moment. Mm, looks like somebody might have gotten together with somebody else, but then I see a comeback coming with the judgment and this communication. So, just clarify judgment, please. Clarify judgment. Clarify judgment, please. Clarify judgment. We have the four of wands. So they're going to have a calling to come back and be happy with this person. Clarify the Four of Wands. Clarify the Four of Wands. And we have the Knight of Wands. So I do see them passionately coming back eventually. Well, who is this? Queen of Pentacles. It could be the mother of their children. It could be other. You could. It could be you, but I'm not feeling like it's you for most of you. I feel like it's the other person. But you're probably with or maybe someone they're into. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Let's find more about this person. Hmm. The 
Eight of Cups. Maybe the Queen of Pentacles is the one who is not able to walk away. Maybe it's not a guy. Or it could be either way, but clarify the Eight of Cups. Please clarify the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. I see them being unhappy. Clarify the Two of Cups, please. Clarify the Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups. Looks like this, they're in this like current relationship. This, it looks like they're in a relationship. Whoever you're asking about is in a relationship with somebody. I'm, I'm assuming it's not you. But they're not happy. Clarify justice, please. Clarify justice. Clarify justice. Clarify justice, please. Clarify justice. Clarify the justice. It's in the reverse. And the two of wands in the reverse is, hmm, that might be you feeling hopeless. Someone's feeling hopeless. Ugh, it feels like there maybe something happened. They're unprepared. Clarify the tower, please. Ooh, ooh, what did we get? We have the Empress. Oh, I feel like uh, the mother. This feels like a mother thing. Like the mother of children or someone who is motherly has taken president over maybe. Maybe you were dating somebody and maybe they got back together with the mother of their child or maybe they're with the mother of their child and they don't want to be. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress. We have the Queen of Wands. Oof. Oh my. Clarify the Page of Swords, please. Clarify the Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords, please. Clarify the Page of Swords. The Two of Swords. So they're going to communicate and uh, they're trying to reach a decision about if they should leave this person or not. Clarify the Two of Swords, please. Clarify the Two of Swords. Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel like that's going to be like a reconciliation, possibly with you. Clarify the Ten of Swords in the reverse, please. Clarify the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Five of Swords in the reverse, which could be apology. I don't know what's going on. Let's clarify the Two of Cups, please. Ooh, what do we get? The Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah. She, so, this person's in a relationship with a person, it seems like, could very well be the mother of their child. Either way, a mother figure is involved with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. And it looks like they're not very happy in their situation. So, is the situation over between you and them? Mm, no. I don't feel it's over. Especially if you're this other people. They're, I feel like if you're the person who they're communicating with, if you're not the mother of their child, basically, or something like that, or if you're not the person they're not currently, currently with, if you're currently with this person, it probably will be over soon. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number four. All right, so I have the cards for stone number four with the obsidian, and let's find out if your relationship is over. So we have the Chariot, we have the High Priestess, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Tower, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Sun. This does not feel like it's over. Some of these feel connected. You might want to check the other ones. Check your pendulums. All right. So the signs that could be associated with this reading is going to be Cancer, Cancer, Aries, Leo, 
and then whatever Knight of Pentacles is. Aries, Taurus, no, that's the wrong one. Leo, Virgo. Doesn't have to be, but that's what your person could be, or you could be. Nine of Pentacles is someone who is slow, has slow, is slow and caught. They're slow because they're cautious. They're dependable and they're very hardworking person. Could indicate an earth sign. Uh, what is going on? Clarify the tower, please. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Five of Cups. So there is a loss here. Clarify the chariot, please. Clarify the chariot. Alright, so somebody gave, somebody though, whoever this chariot is, I'm more inclined to think it's a person because it's the first card. But I feel like someone is giving up on the situation. Or they're ready to give up. They're not ready, they're not giving up yet, but they're getting ready to be given up like... Uh, I don't know. This feels like it might be you. Or it might be the person you're asking about. Maybe if you're the person who broke up with them or something. They might be wanting to get back together. They're feeling a loss towards you, but they're ready to give up. Maybe wanting to be with you. Right, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is a big burden on them. It's been hard for them. So, it's a burden. To, they have obligations and things they have to do. That they have to, and apparently it's a legacy. The person has a legacy that they have to do. I feel like this is the person you're inquiring about. Which one's you? Are you the knight? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, it looks like you're not very happy. If that is you. You're feeling emotionally unfulfilled. Clarify the Nine of Cups, please, in reverse. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. Might be feeling... It could be... Let's see, the King of Cups is someone who could be a Libra, Scorpio, or just a water sign in general. King of Cups shows up as all, I see it all the time, different water signs, so it's really hard to clarify the King of Cups in reverse, someone who is emotionally hardened or ignoring their emotions. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse, please. Have the high priestess. We have the nine of pentacles. So, so it feels like this high priestess is probably the person you're inquiring about. You guys are gonna have to take whatever resonates because it's hard to tell who is who in these things, but. I mean, I'm more inclined that this is the person here because of this right here that you're inquiring about. So this high priestess is someone who's, who's pretty wise and could be very spiritual. But you may have closed yourself off emotionally to them and they're actually becoming more financially independent and just more independent in general. This person may be pretty quiet, not and pretty like more reserved, you know, about the situation. It feels like this person is busy building their legacy with this nine of nine of pentacles and this right here. <sighs> That's weird. Okay. So let's clarify the high priestess, please. Clarify the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess. We have the Hierophant. So whatever she's doing, I feel like this person who is the High Priestess is 
doing something. They could be a spiritual teacher to you. They could be someone that you look up to. But either way, this person is being divinely guided. Let's clarify the hair fit, please. Clarify the hair fit. Again, let's talk about them being wise. Looks like this person is kind of waiting for their ship to come in. They've launched long-term plans. They have things that they're doing. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords. So there she, this person is rushing forward like, yes, this is what I'm doing. I keep saying she because it says High Priestess. I'm sorry. But this person's rushing forward. They're thinking about all the things that they got to be doing and everything. They feel like they actually might want to be with you. Clarify the Five of Cups, please. Clarify the Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups, please. This person is thinking about their options and what path they should be on. Clarify the Two of Wands. Exploded on me. Clarify the two of wands, please. Clarify the two of wands. Six of cups. All right. This person cannot let go of the past. So I feel like this person, I don't know, it feels like they want to be with you. But it feels like you're not sure if you want to be with them. Clarify the sun, please. Clarify the sun with that king of cups in the reverse. The two of swords. Are you giving them the silent treatment? Feeling very clear about this thing. What are you clear about? Clarify the sun, please. Clarify the sun. Queen of Wands. So maybe you find this person to be very authentic and enthusiastic and confident and powerful. Clarify the sun, please. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun, please. The Nine of Wands. Someone's being guarded. Also might be very clear that maybe they are guarded against you. Clarify the nine of wands, please. Clarify the nine of wands. Five of swords. So looks like an apology might be needed in order to do anything. So let's go ahead and ask, is it over? Well, the answer is, do you want it to be? Anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.